A few days ago, the new Arduino Pro IDE Alpha was uh, launched. This sounded like an interesting uh, opportunity to try it. So I headed over to the Arduino blog, as you can see here, and I downloaded it. You can get it uh, from the middle of the page. There are the versions. There is a Windows version, an OS X version, and a Linux version. I will download the Windows version because I am uh, working on Windows 10. There we go. Okay, 140 MO. I do not have a very fast internet connection, so I will now get some coffee. Okay, the download has finished. Uh, I have the file here. 148 megabytes. To install the uh, Arduino Pro IDE, all you have to do is unzip it to a folder and uh, create, if you like, a shortcut for it, as I did here. We can now click uh, the shortcut. There we go, it takes some time to uh, start up. Okay, and we can see that we do not have a board installed and we have no port selected for the board so we probably first have to install a board because I did connect an uh, Arduino Uno uh, we can do that from uh, uh, usually from the tools uh, menu huh? the boards manager okay do, what do we have here all the boards packages available okay we want this one the Arduino Uno Install. And while the IDE installs the AVR boards, uh, we get another cup of coffee. So the boards manager has finished installing uh, the boards package. See if we can uh, upload the sketch to our board. Let's click upload. Ah, no port selected, please select the port. We can do that here. Okay, the red cross disappears. Let's try again. Compilation goes fine. Upload complete. The error remains, so we have to close it manually. And there we are. And the board manager, we can close that again. Okay, let's see what we have in the menu. File. We have a workspace now, autosave, settings, we can change the color theme, okay, open workspace, that's an eclipse thing probably, edit, okay, basic edit stuff, selection, all sorts of selections, sketch and libraries, here we get the library manager, install some libraries but I think this is a bit small Maybe we can switch to full screen can we make this bigger wider yes we can okay libraries so the boards manager we already saw the view we have git stuff SCM, I don't know what that is. Let's click it. Ah, source control. Okay. That's this button also. No source control. Go back forward. Terminal, new terminal. We get a command line interface. And the help. Then here we have the verify and upload compile. Here we have the open button and the save button. Here we have in okay we can see our sketches. And we see that we immediately get hex files when we compile apparently. Then we have two buttons here, the serial monitor toggle. Okay, we can make it appear and disappear and here we have toggle advanced mode okay so we are in advanced mode let's close the terminal Arduino upload daemon board download compile so we can sort our messages that is nice here you see you can see what we downloaded 
Here we have outline. Okay, we see the functions setup loop. I don't know where they are. Two set up the whole function and set up just a prototype. Here, there's another small thingy. Looks like a very zoomed out sketch. Okay, so this is the advanced editor, the advanced IDE. Let's move to the. Of, let's toggle the advanced mode and see what happens. Okay, it created some stuff down here. So here we are in classic mode of the IDE. It looks a lot like the classic uh, IDE indeed. With the same file menu, edit, sketch, well that's only manage libraries and boards manager. Same as uh, we saw in the advanced mode. Same buttons here, oh, why doesn't that go away? Line numbers and the serial monitor is still there. Let's see if we can use it. Let's start. Type something here, serial. Oh, look at that, we have uh, auto completion. So we'll begin with a baud rate, 115, 200, my prevert value. And let's make the sketch uh, send something. Serial print character. Character A and slow the whole thing down with a delay. Delay milliseconds, uh, let's uh, say uh, every 250 milliseconds. Okay, there we go. We upload it to the board. Works as before, upload complete. So what do we get in serial mode? Serial monitor, nothing because the speed is wrong of course. We set the speed to the right speed and we still have nothing. <coughs> okay. That's not right. This doesn't do anything. Submit that would be the send things. Let's change the sketch. Uh, maybe we need print lines. Do not autocomplete because I don't want to lose this. Uh, we re-upload it. See if it changes anything. Upload complete. Ah, now we have data. We see we also had data before, but it didn't show. So since it's working now, let's change it back to what it was. Upload complete. And nothing happening. All right, looks uh, we have uh, looks like we have found a bug. We can report a bug on GitHub. This is mentioned on the blog here, this link. So let's go there. And there we are, already 73 open issues. See if there is something with the serial port. Serial monitor I mean, monitor search. No, not yet, so we can report it. Okay, so that was a quick overview of the uh, Arduino Pro. The new Pro IDE based on um, Eclipse Thea. Oh, I don't know how do you pronounce this exactly. Arduino Electron 001. Clearly there are uh, some issues with it, so uh, if you don't like issues then you better wait until there is a real uh, workable version. Okay, thank you for watching and um, have fun with Arduino. Goodbye.